more kids skateboarding. So, geez, that hill is crazy. actually been a mistake. I really underestimated the weather and I honestly really didn't know. Yeah, I, I had no idea it was gonna be this hot. Whew. Wow, I'm already covered in sweat, that's great. There's a few people out but not much. I mean, I guess that's kind of my goal when I'm trying to make these videos because I'm still antisocial. <laughs> I'm still working on filming myself in public because you get a lot of people that stare and stuff, but I mean, eventually, eventually you learn to like not care about what other people think. And honestly, like, even if they are staring at you, they're just gonna go on and move on to the next thing because they have their own lives, they have their own stuff to, to think about. So they're really not all the attention's on you. So. I just have to keep that in mind. But yeah, this walk is brutal. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, you know, but I'm doing it. I'm already committed, so I gotta keep going. I mean, my goal is to get to this basketball court that no one uses because it's absolutely perfect to film. <laughs> so hopefully we get there. Um, I mean, if I didn't have this penny board though also, I probably would have been really, really dead, but you know. We're just gonna keep going. You know, the main reason why I came here was to not only just relax, but also I want to talk about the Canon M50 and how it's been treating me so far. Personally, I love the camera and it totally lived up to its expectations. Just, it has been such a pleasure using it. Seriously, like, you don't understand how much I love the touchscreen feature. It's really bright out here. Hold up. But yeah, so even though you may be seeing me scratch myself, that's just because literally coming down here, I got bitten by probably 10,000 mosquitoes. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> no, but seriously, the camera has been really good and especially for my style of video, which is vlogging. Um, it's been super helpful with its flip screen and its mic compatibility. I just saw a fish jump out of the water. Sorry, that was really cool. But um, this mic port has been so good because now I can finally use an external mic so I can finally get better audio for my videos. But I can really just step up the video quality overall. Um, it's dual focus is amazing. The Canon M50 does a great job with focusing when you need it to and not only on one subject but two subjects or more than two actually. So that's been really good for if I want to film with my friends or really anyone else. Um, it does a really good job on focusing on them and there's really no blurry moments. Also, the Canon M50 I've noticed is really good in low lighting. Um, I've had problems with this in the past with other cameras where they were just terrible. Okay, airplane, really? I'm making a video here, come on! This camera literally has solved all my problems. Um, I feel actually more comfortable filming later later uh, because now you could actually see me. My Sony HX80, you couldn't see me at all. It was just pitch black. So that's been really good. Seriously, if you are considering getting this camera, and, and this, this camera's not even only good for vlogging. I'm just saying that oh, this is an overall well-rounded camera. If you're thinking about getting this camera, I highly recommend it. Also, this camera is really good at taking photos as well. Honestly, it's actually kind of in competition with my Canon EOS Rebel T6, but 
Um, they're actually two completely different cameras though because this is a mirrorless camera, if you didn't know. The Canon M50 is a mirrorless camera, so the sensors are a bit different uh, than your regular DSLR. But I was blown away by this camera's ability to take high quality pictures. Also, I forgot to mention that this camera can also film in 4K. So right now I'm filming in 1080p, which is what I usually film in, um, but you could also film in 4K. I haven't tried the 4K feature on this yet, but I've heard very good things about it. The only thing that people do complain about is that it slightly crops your shot. So this shot is pretty wide, as you can see right now. But if I were filming in 4K, it would crop it. I don't know how much it would crop it, but it would crop it quite a lot. Oh my gosh, guys, look. There's a friend that wants to say hi. Oh my gosh, am I zooming in? Hey, buddy. Look, it's a deer. Oh no, don't run away. Oh. Dang, it ran away. It was right, like, in there. Oh. Well, maybe they'll come back. Maybe. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that I got a new board? <laughs> so yeah, basically I guess that was my super brief take on what I think so far about the Canon M50. I'm sure that I'm gonna make more videos about this camera in the future just because it's so lovable. <laughs> I got it back in, I believe, August, late August I think I got it in. So it's been not that long, um, about a month. So I'll do an update later, but yeah, that's, my opinion on this camera so far. Okay, but yeah, my board. So I got a nickel board. So if you guys didn't know, I actually really love skateboarding. Um, I've always liked it when I was little. I got into it. Um, I gave up and then I went back into it, but I also found penny boards. Now, don't clown on me now. If you're like a real skateboard rider, grip tape and like skate park, don't make fun of me, okay? But I love penny. Uh, I just love their boards. They're built with so much quality. Okay, this sounds like I'm sponsored by them. I'm really not. I just really love the products. I always use it, go out and uh, skateboard with friends, and it's just so smooth, and um, it's the ultimate, like, cruiser. Um, I, I would say I'm typically more of, like, a cruiser skateboarder. I had Penny for years. I'd actually probably like longboarding, too. But, yeah, I basically gave up actual skateboarding. I was so young and it was really challenging, but I've gotten this really sudden and abrupt spark to just start skateboarding again. Like, not this skateboarding, I love the skateboarding, but also just like actual skateboarding. So I've actually been practicing lately. I'm still trying to perfect my ollie. I might do a video later on of me sucking at skateboarding. It might just be too embarrassing, but like I'm really trying to get back into skateboarding um, because it's just so cool. Like it's such a cool sport and especially seeing it on the Olympics, it was like an awakening. Like I need to skateboard again. So, you know, if anyone out there actually skateboards and they could show me some tips, put them down below in the comments because I need all the tips I can get. And you know, I think I actually quit skateboarding too because I didn't really see any girls in skateboarding. Like when I was little, there was honestly not that many female skateboarders that I could look up to. Um, so I think not seeing us being represented kind of discouraged me a bit. Like, representation is super important in this world. Like, it's important to include everyone and make things open and give an opportunity for people to really explore. Like, let's face it, skateboarding is a predominantly male sport and you really see a lot of males doing it. But all I'm trying to say is that today, there's more representation for girls 
in skateboarding and I find that so awesome. And really, if you're watching this and you're a young girl or you're even my age, like a senior in high school, just know that you can try this and you can do it. Like, don't worry about everyone else giving you hate or commenting, giving ne negative comments about what you're doing. Don't listen to them. Just do what you love. If you really enjoy skateboarding, go do it. And if you want to try skateboarding and try something new, just go ahead and do it. You can't, you know, let other people tell you what to do, you know? At the end of the day, you got to do what makes you happy. And if trying something new and breaking the norms is what it entails, then <laughs> just do it. So if you're watching up to this point, thank you so much for supporting me. I, I really appreciate it. And now that we are over 700 subscribers, which is amazing, it's just makes it even more surreal because I never knew that I was gonna hit 700 subscribers. And, and here we are today, so thank you so much. So you just watched my super brief review of the Canon M50 after having it for about a month. And you just watched me talk about my skateboard so i really appreciate you guys for watching if you enjoy my content and like the canon m50 and want to see more videos about it that'd be great if you could subscribe or like the video do anything share it and i will see you guys in the next video bye